So today I am going to give you a little breakdown of the best wire splices that you can use in an RV. They're also known as butt connectors with an RV where it's moving a lot and you know they say that it's like a 6.0 earthquake when you're going down the road. These connectors really really help out. We've had trouble with wiring before doing things at a rush using uh, screw caps and things of that nature and they do come loose and cause electrical spikes in the system and stuff like that because uh, loose connections as you can see in a car battery you know when you're going to go touch it it sends jolts of electricity through your you know your components so these uh, splice bud connectors are fantastic because they don't only attach two wires together but they have a heat shrink over them and it shrinks onto the wires and creates not just a metal connection for the electricity but also a plastic material connection it glues on <laughs> to the wires themselves so you can't really take them back off that's how strong the glue is that's one of the reasons that these heat shrink wire splices are absolutely fantastic for rv electrical work i'm taking the opportunity to do this because we are almost done with replacing all the lights in the RV. We did some calculations and we're bringing down about 200 watts of electrical power to power all the lights to about 75. If you have any doubts as to how much power your LEDs are using, just touch them. And if they feel hot, they're, you know, it requires power in order to get that heat. And that heat is not being converted into light, is being converted into heat. You don't want a lot of that throughout your RV because it'll just eat up all your power. So yeah, we're changing these today and see what you think. I talked a little bit about these wire strippers and again, I can't recommend them enough. There's the different kind, the one that it looks like a pair of pliers and you just basically clamp onto the sheath of the wire and you pull. Um, that's the ones that comes with every kit that you buy. If you're going to do a lot of do-it-yourself electrical jobs in your rig, I definitely recommend, you know, using one of these. I'll put it on the link below as well, and uh, hopefully it'll help you out. Now we get the lights. There's usually a really big difference in gauge when you wire up lights because the manufacturers are going to be plugging in into usually about 14 gauge, uh, maybe 16 gauge wire. And these lights come in anywhere from 18 gauge to 22 gauge because they just don't require a lot of wattage, which is the reason you're changing them in the first place. So don't be surprised that the wire for the lights is a lot thinner than the wire that you're splicing into, which creates a bit of a problem and this is the trick to get past that problem. The splice is too big to actually grab this wire, which is about 20 gauge. Meaning when you put it in and you crimp it, it just slides back out. So to keep it from sliding out, you peel the wire and fold it over. Strip it a little bit further than you need to. That way you have some wire to bend over. This braided wire is amazing when it comes to moving equipment. In my military days, we always use braided wire because on an aircraft, it's moving all the time, very similar to an RV. And solid core wire, like the one you have in your house, the AC that's coming out of the wall, it's not braided. It's a solid piece of copper. But the thing about the solid piece of copper is that with the vibration that you get in a vehicle, it'll break in certain places depending on the bend. For the most part, you don't want to use uh, solid core wire in an RV if you can help it. You get your piece of wire and you bend it in half and now it'll fit in the bigger gauge hole. Like so. And using one of these crimpers is a must. The quality of the crimp when you use a real crimper over a vice grip is head and shoulders. Uh, a vice grip actually can split the barrel and the wire will slide out eventually or right away. <laughs> These things are not that expensive. They're only 19 bucks or so. And they're 
fantastic for doing this kind of work and you'll definitely get your money's worth. And with a ratchet crimper, you just crimp all the way down and it automatically puts exactly the right kind of pressure on the, on the splice. Do it to both and then you attach it to the ceiling wire. Now this is really an important part in this kind of system in black and white, the black is the positive. In black and red, the red is the positive. So do not attach the black to the black. You'll fry your little light. <laughs> you attach the black to the red. Very confusing to have to do that, but always remember. And now that you have everything crimped up, it's time for the magic of the heat shrink. I just use a lighter since I don't have a heat gun and it works perfectly. If you use a regular lighter, you'll blacken the heat shrink. So I use this propane little torch thing and they work perfect. They don't blacken anything. As it dries, it'll get less shiny. And once it's completely dry and the glue dries over the whole wire that is not coming off you have to cut it out uh, quite laboriously if you need to get if you can't spare that length of wire uh, cutting it out is quite a challenge so it's a great splice to have in a moving system like an rv so one thing that i almost forgot before putting it in there is always test your circuit before you put stuff up so here we go And now it is official. All the lights on the RV, inside at least, have been replaced with my new nifty LED little dome lights. Very, very happy with this upgrade. I hope you found it useful. All the little pieces and parts that I've used uh, in order to make this job a little easier on myself. And by far the best kind of splices to use on on this kind of uh, equipment is all listed below in the description and good luck on your own project our videos vary from a little help how to's to our family hiking and uh, having fun through forests we are back on the road in july we're trying to finish our rv here our remodel little by little battery and solar is next if you like the videos if you find them helpful please subscribe